Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna introduce you how to analyze uh, CRISPR high throughput screen data. So uh, high throughput screens using CRISPR-Cas9 has uh, provide a very powerful way to encode the function of genes and uh, uh, it's become more and more popular in biological laboratories. So today I'm gonna talk about uh, what's high school screen using CRISPR-Cas9 and how we can uh, use a software called Magic, Magic to analyze the uh, generated data and uh, get preliminary results for further um, validation. Okay, so before, uh, so for the uh, CRISPR screens, first you need to design the uh, single guide RNA for each gene you want to knock out. And uh, in, in my previous uh, video, I already introduced this part. And uh, now for high school screen, you need to design as giants for all, uh, all, a lot of genes, usually uh, the genome-wide uh, genes, okay? And then pull them together and uh, lentiviral packaging them and into uh, transducted into the cells that has been engineered to uh, express the Cas9 protein. And within the cell, the, the Cas9 will cut the uh, specific uh, genes and uh, then uh, the, G the, the sgRNA targeting specific gene uh, where knock out the gene and cause uh, uh, corresponding phenotype. If a uh, knockout of certain gene uh, is where cause the cell uh, uh, grow slower, then it's negative selection, okay? And then the sgRNAs will uh, decrease. While if the, uh, if the cell grow faster, it cause positive selection, then the sgRNA count will uh, also grow. So with this, we, uh, we can uh, sequencing the uh, DNA and count the SGR sgRNAs in different conditions and see uh, how, uh, how is the phenotype of the uh, knockout for, of specific genes, okay? So then this part is the bioinformatic analysis. Today we are uh, talk about this how we can uh, uh, analyze the data generated uh, with this uh, experiment approach and get the experiment, uh, get the gene hits and do the validation, okay. Okay, so um, the most commonly used tool for CRISPR high school screen uh, data analysis is called MAGIC and uh, is uh, developed uh, by my supervisor. And uh, okay, so I have built this uh, uh, folder called Magic with Cast. Okay, in this uh, folder, I have a FASTQ file. So this FASTQ file uh, contains uh, uh, next, next, next generation sequencing uh, of, a D, of the plasmid for Gecko2 uh, library. Okay, let's see what's, uh, what's inside. Gecko2 live, oh, Linky. Okay. Okay, so uh, the FASTQ file, so for each sequence, there are uh, four lines. The, se the second line is the sequence of the, is the sequence. Okay, it has, it contains the sgRNAs inside. So we need to map uh, these uh, uh, sequences to the library, the sgRNA library and see uh, the count. So to count uh, the sequences, contain specific SGRAs, okay? This called the mapping. 
And another uh, file we need is the uh, library, library file. So here I have the Gecko library. So I will show you what uh, it looks like. So let's go into this uh, magic test. So this is uh, library. Let's open it. Okay, the library is look like this. So it uh, has three columns. The first column is uh, is uh, guide uh, ID, so you can see HG lib one zero uh, number one. Okay, you can also uh, name by yourself like SG one, SG two. Okay, it doesn't matter. And the second column is the uh, sequence of SGRAs. It's only twenty base pair. And the third column is uh, uh, gene symbol that uh, the SGRA targets. Okay. So with this uh, library file and the fast file, file, what we need to do is use the uh, uh, magic. So this, uh, I already installed this uh, pack, uh, this software. So uh, I, I think it's very easy to install. I will put the link to this software uh, in, in the description uh, under the video and you can download by yourself and install it. Uh, I think it's not, it's not uh, very hard. And uh, first, let, let's see uh, uh, what's the magic. Okay, so magic is uh, uh, performs the SGRA and pathway uh, gene and pathway analysis on CRISPR green data, and it contains uh, five functional modules. Uh, we we mainly use the, the count and test. Count is to uh, map the read count of each SGRA. Uh, to the fast queue to the mapping the SGRAs to the fast queue file and get the read count for each SGRA. And this is uh, mainly the first step we need to do. Let's go uh, with the count. Okay. And what's going, let's see what's the parameters. Okay, first we need uh, the L. So it's a library. So our library is, uh, okay this one right let's copy it and another is fast queue the fast queue file is the uh, one that human a okay it's fast queue file and uh, maybe we need also uh, parameter n is uh, uh, here the the n means the prefix of the file generated okay you can uh name it by yourself like uh, uh count test okay then it will map uh the sgras to the uh fast queue file and get the read count for each sgra so it has been running and uh, the you can see here the mapping rate is around uh, is about uh, 70 uh, 72 percent um, it's reasonable and usually uh, the better the is better to have like uh, 80 percent more uh, mapping rates uh, so this is only the plasmid so it doesn't matter and let's see uh, here we got uh, uh, so the major uh, file generated in this step is called contest. Okay, this is the prefix we set in the uh, parameter, and the uh, dot count dot tx, uh, txt is the count table, read count table for each SGRA. Uh, we can generate it. We can look into it. Contest uh, uh, count txt. Okay. okay, see it has uh, three columns. One is uh, 
okay, it's GNA, the first column. Second column is uh, uh, the gene symbol, it targets. And the third column is the cons for each SDNA. And the simple one is uh, default uh, name of this uh, column. And you can also set by yourself in uh, using the parameter uh, simple label, okay, label. And uh, then with this read count tables, uh, we can do the uh, test whether uh, certain the condition uh, the read count under certain condition has a gain uh, has a positive selection or negative selection compared to the uh, day zero or the uh, plasmid as a control okay so here i would like to uh, so it's it's just uh, i just uh, use uh, the read count table from uh, one of our studies uh, published uh, on nuclear acid research to uh, to show you the to show you the uh, how to perform the statistical test so this is our uh, this is our recount tables the first column is uh, SGNA, and third, uh, the second column is the uh, gene length and these are read counts for each condition. The first one is the plasmid. You can use it as a control. And uh, the following is uh, the DMSO um, condition at day uh, 18, and uh, it's performed on H2171 uh, cell line. And it has the three replicates in uh, the uh, fourth, fifth, and sixth column. And this another three column is uh, another treatment using the PMT5 inhibitors. And uh, okay, so we have like uh, three conditions and uh, two conditions with three replicates, okay? So how do we do the test? Let's, let's use uh, like magic test. So let's see what's uh, here. Mean. Okay, magnetic test. Uh, uh, first, uh, the required uh, required parameter is count table. So the count table uh, we use is uh, the count table test. Okay, and another thing is another parameter needed is the treatment condition. So you just uh, uh, need to infer the columns that uh, as uh, treatment condition. Okay. In, in our data, the treatment condition is, okay, we can use these three columns. Uh, so the, because there are three uh, replicates, we just need to input the, these three columns. You can either input the column name of these three columns or the number of columns. But remember, this column is, although it's a fourth column, you need to put uh, uh, four, okay? The first column is zero. Okay, so the treatment should be uh, three, uh, four, and five. Okay, three, four, and five. And control is is the third column. Okay, is a uh, is the uh, um, uh, plasmid. Okay, so the third column is two. And uh, let's put uh, the prefix or the file as DMSO. Okay, test. How about this? Let's run it. Okay, it's running. And uh, after running, we can get a uh, file. So it's called the DMSO gene summary. Okay, so this is the most important file we need to. Yeah, it also has a, a report at the SGI level, but we, uh, the most concerning, the relative one is this one. Let's open it and see what's here. Okay, it's a uh, DMSO test. Uh, this is gene, this is a gene summary. Okay, let's open it in an Excel file. And okay, here is the is output of the magic test. It has uh. 
different columns. So the first column is uh, gene name, and the number is how many SGRNAs uh, targeting this gene. We have 10 in our library. And the negative score, negative p-value, and negative FDR. We need to look into the FDR, the false uh, discovery uh, rate. Okay, so this uh, negative uh, selection at number one, and it's log pole change. So also it has a positive uh, score, so this is for positive selection, so it's bi-directional. You, uh, you can select the top ones with the negative selection and top one with positive selection to see what are they, and these are the gene hits you need to further uh, validate. And with this, you, need, you can also do the geo-analysis to see which pathway is enriched, right? So there are many other following analyses. Uh, so, but uh, I will not include it in this uh, uh, video because uh, I will separate into another video to see how we can do for the following analysis. Uh, but with today's video, you will be able to uh, get some pre preliminary results with your CRISPR high school put screen data, okay? No matter you are bioinformatics people or you are a biologist, it's easy, you can use this uh, software. Um, okay, I think uh, this is uh, kind of ended uh, video. And uh, uh, I have put uh, all our learning materials and codes into our GitHub uh, re repository and you can see the link in the uh, in the description of this uh, video and if you like uh, what you see uh, today don't forget uh, to uh, like the video and uh, smash the subscribe and uh, get updates of my videos uh, so uh, goodbye and I will see you next time